Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever or wherever you are watching this, and welcome back to my channel! I am Jeremy, and thank you very much for checking out this video today. In this video, bit of a different route, but similar route to previous videos recently, in the frame of we're keeping things in the anime side of the spectrum, but we're going towards video games, but a bit of a unique case when it comes to what game I will be talking about today. At the time of recording, in the last couple of hours, I have received a parcel from PlayAsia.com. That is because I recently took advantage of the fact they've got a free shipping sale going on, and I decided to import a game which I really want to play, but I don't necessarily have very easy access to, and that is a game by the name of Super Robot Wars 30. It is the 30th anniversary of a very long-running franchise that's predominantly been seen in Asia, and perhaps more specifically in some cases Japan, featuring a ton of giant robot-slash-mecha anime characters and giant robots in those respective series themselves coming together to have almost in many ways, a bit of a fan fiction type scenario. That's a very broad generalized term, but it kind of sums up what I mean. Now, Super Robot Wars 30 is a very unique case because it has actually been released here in the West, specifically in the UK where I am currently, in the USA. It is available in the West, but only on PC. Now, full disclosure, I don't have a PC gaming rig, like, at all. I don't even have a PC, quite frankly. So, for me to be able to run this is not going to be very easy on the hardware I have. But, I do have games consoles. I've got PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 5 as well. Now, Super Robot Wars is a unique case because, although it's only available in English on PC in the West, in Asia, it's also been released on the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Let's dive into this a little bit more. So as you can see here, we are on the Bandai Namco EU website. This is the publisher of the game around the world. Now, if we look through their website quickly, you can see Super Robot Wars 30 was released at the end of October. When it comes to what the game is about, Super Robot Wars is a tactical RPG that brings characters and robots from a variety of mecha anime together to battle their mutual foes. Players follow characters through adventure and battle, take control of giant robots on a battle map, commanding them to defeat their enemies. In Super Robot Wars, players can enjoy a unique experience that combines the all-star mecha series crossovers, action-packed animations, and the chance to upgrade your favourite machines and pilots. Now, you will notice, here at the bottom, it specifically says PC. And as I mentioned, we are on the Bandai Namco EU website. Again, adding to the fact I just mentioned, this game is only available in the West on the PC. If we click on the Shop Now logo on their website, it takes you to here. When it comes to the retailers you can buy it from, Steam is the only option. So, how have I got a PS4 copy in this box? Let me show you. So now I am on the Bandai Namco Asia website. As you can see from the URL at the very top here, we are on the Asia website. And you'll notice immediately that at the very top here, where it says to watch the trailer, it specifically highlights Nintendo Switch, Steam, and PS4 as being options for this. This is because the, the English localized version is available on those consoles, but in Asia, like Singapore, for example. There is also a Chinese language only version as well, I believe, but the English version is available specifically in this region of Asia. So if that's the case, how have I got it in this box, you're wondering? Well, Basically, I've imported a copy of it. Let me show you how I went about this. I went to PlayAsia.com, and there they have available the English physical editions on both the Switch and PS4. So as you can see here, I am on the listing for the PS4 English version. This is the Asia English version. Easy way to sum it up is the Singapore region. Now, there's an interesting note about this because there is downloadable content DLC announced and already in process, quite frankly, for this game. But if you're like me in the UK, you can't redeem or get access to that DLC with a UK PlayStation Network account. How do you get around this? You basically have to make a Singapore PSN PlayStation Network account on your console. It's a pretty easy thing to do. Loads of other people have probably made YouTube videos on it. To summarize it, basically create a new account on your PlayStation, 
have an email address that you can use and just fill in the details as appropriate to get through and verify your account. Then you can purchase the DLC, redeem any codes that may come with the game as well, and you can redeem it on that account, and you should then be able to play it as per normal on your regular PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 account on your console. And as mentioned, I took advantage of the fact that at the time of recording, PlayAsia throughout the month of November 2021 have got a free shipping sale on. So I actually bought this using that, just standard airmail. It arrived in a couple of weeks. Absolutely zero issue whatsoever. It's entirely possible out there that some of you might actually be genuinely interested in doing this, but obviously the actual PlayStation Network element of it, the account might be a bit of a barrier to entry and will the game actually work on a UK console, the actual physical disc? The answer to that is yes. That is because PlayStation 4 games basically are region free. There can be some very rare exceptions perhaps, but from my experience, every game is completely region free and will work on any console in the world, that being the physical disc specifically. So you'll have no worries on that whatsoever. And when you load up the game, there will be an option to change the language into English as or if needed. So now that I have that basic bit of information out of the way, you know what's coming next. Let's get inside. So let's get inside this box, everybody. As you can see, this is the box that it's arrived in from PlayAsia.com. Again, not a sponsor. So I'm just going to basically literally open this in front of you guys, just from start to finish, quite frankly, because why the heck not? So first of all, let's get inside this box. As you can tell, pretty simple packaging, as it were, but it got here in pretty good time, so I am perfectly content with this. So let's see if I can get this open. Oh, these gloves are going to cause an issue again, aren't they? Hang on a sec. There we go. Could just about get in there. You know what? I'm just going to pull this out. Hang on. So what's actually inside here? Oh, that's cool. A couple of little stickers. Cheers, PlayAsia. Cheers. So let's get that out of the way. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this. So here it is. Super Robot Wars 30 for the PS4. The Asia English version. So now if you look on the spine, as you can see, the text is in English. Then if I go to the back, here is what you can see. Got a bunch of cool screenshots, list of a bunch of featured titles in the game. But you know what? It'll be far easier to look at this if I actually open this up proper. So let's actually open this thing up. This is going to be interesting to try and do with gloves on. That's actually far easier than I anticipated. So there you go. Right, get the cellophane off. What is it with cellophane being this tough? There we go, right. So, here is the front once again for you, but now with the cellophane off. I really love that artwork, it looks so damn cool. So now, here we go on the back. You can see it mentions a bunch of the featured titles in the game. And if we look down here, you can see in the technical information, language, Japanese voice, and Japanese subtitle, but also English subtitle. So here we go, opening up inside. Now you can see here, first of all, got a little DLC code here. You can see a bunch of bonus DLCs for early purchase that I can redeem. I'll be showing you a bit later how to do that in the video. Here is confirmation of what actual bonus DLC is included as part of that redemption code. So there we go. I will look forward to redeeming that shortly. In fact, you know what? I'll put that over there for a sec. So, and here is what is actually inside the box proper. We get the game disc itself. Which, as you can see once again, completely in English. And there's a whole bunch of other information here, but just for reference, I'm going to get the disc out of here. If I can, if I can actually grab the disc, this would be really useful. Again, the perils of doing this thing wearing gloves. So basically, it's got another bunch of technical information underneath. Nothing game-related in there, specifically. So there you go. That is what is in there. I'm just going to grab this. Put it back inside for you. And that, everyone, is what you get with buying this physical version. So, now that I've unboxed this, I figured I will take the opportunity to install this onto my PlayStation 5, and at the same time, I will redeem the DLC as well, so you guys can see how that works out too. So let's get to it. So, I've loaded up my Singapore PSN account, which I will prove to you it is a Singapore account just by going into the store, and then I will scroll across to show you this tab here. And then it says that my wallet is in the SGD 
currency, which is currency of Singapore. Now, according to the download code that came with the card, it says that you need to redeem it by going to redeem code. So, just going to do this quickly. And as you can see, it recognizes the fact that this code is the Super Robot Wars 30 early purchase bonus. So, let's redeem it. So it's important to note, you need to enter your code in the correct region PSN account. Otherwise, it will show a screen like this, indicating the code does not work. So, do I want to redeem it? Yeah. And as you can see here, it has figured out that there is the bonus special starter pack, bonus spirit of the blade, bonus spirit of the shot, Bonus Spirit of Power, Spirit of Steel, the Elemental Lord. That is a lot of DLC. And that is, in fact, everything that is noted on the download card that came with the game. So, let's download all. All of those are now downloaded. So now that that's done, I need to install the game disc onto the console itself. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to install it on my Singapore PSN account profile, but it should transfer over to my UK profile without issue. If there is a problem, we will know soon enough. So now it is installing. It also said there's two items downloading. What's that? Okay, so there's an update file and there is another file as well. I'm guessing it might be a patch. In fact, I think I've just realized, I believe that is actually the install happening, because it says downloads slash copies, and if you look in the background as well, it also says it's copying at about 24%, so that makes total sense, actually. So as I've got about a minute here left, it's worth noting that you'll notice that the update file says it's queued for copying. I'm guessing that is because once the game is installed, it can then apply that patch as well, so not a problem there at all. There we go, ready to play it says. And it looks like that the update file has been applied as well. So what I'm going to do now is head back over to my UK profile and let's load the game up. Just to demonstrate I am definitely on my UK profile, you can see the wallet there is in GBP. Now you'll see that there's two icons here, it's because I actually downloaded the demo off of Japanese PSN, because yes, I have a Japanese PSN account as well, but the demo was actually in English. So let's load this up. Okay, let's create some new data. That is a lot of copyright lines. There we go. Press any button. And as you can see, the first thing that you will come across is this user agreement. And you can see, you can choose your language options as well in here. Obviously, I'm going to be choosing English. You will also notice because I'm on my UK profile, it has defaulted to English as well. But if you want to change it, all you've got to do is press triangle, and then you can cycle through them. So, English it is. As you can see, we are now at the main menu. Important to note, the PlayStation Store bit will not work because I am playing this from my UK profile. So, just to show you it won't. Cannot be found. And then you can start the game as you intend to and obviously select your difficulty and then you can choose which character you want to be add your details as it were then you can decide where you want your story in this game to begin i think that's about as far as i'm going to show you on that but what i do want to do now is actually exit the game i'll go back to the singapore psn profile and i'll show you what happens when you click that playstation store button so now back on the Singapore PSN profile, just to quickly show you, as you can see, wallet is SGD. And because it is on the Singapore profile, it will ask you to create new data as well. Once again, agree to the terms. So we're on the main menu now. And if we connect to the PlayStation Store, as you can see, it shows you what DLC there is available on the Singapore PSN. 
I will definitely be getting these at some point. However, I will need to add some Singapore currency to my PSN account at a later date. And in case you're wondering how you can double check DLC is installed on your game library, go to your collection, click the options button, click on manage game content, and it will tell you that there are items installed. So now if you go back to your UK profile, now admittedly, this is a little bit weird for me because I've actually got two versions of this installed here because I also have the Japanese demo installed because that's how I first tried the game because the demo, interesting to note on Japanese PSN, is also entirely in English as well. But that's potentially a video for another day. So what you do, if you've got the game highlighted here, as you can see, click the options button and you've got manage game content from there. And then you can see six game, six game content, excuse me, are installed. The reason I mention that in the context of my PS5 console is because if I do what I just showed you on the Singapore profile, if I click on it, it actually brings up the two versions and I have to select one or the other. If I click on the game one, it will show me this window and it won't specifically give you that message about the content being installed. Now, admittedly, a lot of doing this is a bit new to me. So what I don't know for sure is if you have to be on your Singapore PSN account for the DLC to actually become active, but you can totally 100% play the game on your UK profile, but you may already have to have content installed slash it may not port over properly to your UK profile unless you're on your Singapore PSN profile specifically. So there we go, everybody. Thank you very much for checking out this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you yourself are interested in getting hold of the physical English copy of Super Robot Wars, I personally cannot recommend Play Asia enough. This is not a sponsored video of any kind. This is me saying it from the heart. I have used them for a large number of years. I have bought figurines, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, games, all manner of things, some of which I might do more videos on at some point from what I've acquired over the years, but I've used them, I've never had an issue with them whatsoever, so I personally can actually recommend them based on my own experience. And when it comes to getting Super Robot Wars 30, if you are wanting a physical copy of it, then that is a great way to go about it. Once again, thank you very much for checking out this video, take care, and have a nice day.